Before we get to the finished cottage, let's see where we started. Yes, a mess. Looks like Georgia the Jungle lives here. Yes, there is washer and dryers and trash when I bought this place all in the front yard. And yes, this is the mini Jurassic Park. We have to get rid of all of it. are starting to look a little bit better the yard is cleared out not perfect and we got a little bit of sod looking pretty good so this is how the apartment looks right now with just stuff everywhere just stuff stored <laughs> and you can't really walk across and get into the back room so my plan is to clean this up and um, get it organized All right, so we're entering the um, downstairs apartment. So the first thing we got to do is fix this light, the exterior light, and then we have to run power to the ring doorbell. So right now it's on battery. In fact, I have it inside charging as we speak. The door is brand new. Um, so anyways, we end up just ripping out all of the old drywall from the ceilings as well as the, um, we built out the walls. So originally how they had this, they built, can you see that? It's brick and then there's um, drywall, essentially plaster and drywall. And then so um, I wanted to make sure that the uh, apartment was insulated. So we built out the wall here, as you can see. Um, there's very little light in here, sorry. Um, because we have the window covering. So I have a, somebody living upstairs and um, obviously I don't want them seen into this apartment because it's not done. But anyways, we built out the wall right here. Um, this wall is going to be partially built out, like only on this side where you see the um, brick exposed. So that's gonna be partially um, built out so that we can cover, this is a chimney. So there used to be a furnace that set right here in the corner and then that top thing ran upstairs to the upstairs unit and then the the um, vent downstairs was you know heating this area um, i wanted both units to have their own separate heating and cooling so we have uh, split units installed in each unit so this is the split unit for this particular unit um the the my contractor is going to take that out he's going to take this out we're going to fix up this wall whatnot so it's just like seamless we're going to take this out right here so they had a uh, closet built out right here so this is not structural structural so we could just take that out um, and you can see it's like a thin piece of wood that they use for framing <laughs> um, so that wouldn't even hold anything up so on this wall right here so you walk in the door this wall right here will have all the kitchen like cabinets and stuff my contractor is going to come back out and build out the wall like he did over here and um, that will enable me to again put um, insulation and then put sheet rock so that's the biggest thing is that I want it to look really nice and I don't know if you can see it on camera but this wall is very textured 
it's pretty ugly it doesn't look very nice it's just not in really great condition so I want to um, build out the wall so that you know it could just look really modern really sleek well, they, they, well this has always been the bathroom right like this has always been the bathroom it's painted all red like everything the previous uh, guy that would rent to the space he painted like the walls the, the vanity everything red but anyways we have framed out the shower as well as put in all of the plumbing in here and so essentially my contractor is going to um drywall make it waterproof and um we're gonna tile the the bathroom it's very tight in here but imagine there's tile on this wall this wall and this wall right here right and then the shower pan two walls the exterior walls this wall and this wall um uh, framed out ready to you know the electrician to start doing his his work and his job and then this wall is not framed out at all um so we're just going to be doing some patching like you know obviously taking the vent out patching that up making it making it um and then taking that vent down there bottom too and making it all smooth like you know making it all the texture look the same essentially and then um in the ceiling across the entire apartment is put new insulation in here we are, the final reveal of the downstairs apartment and the cottage. So I've been procrastinating. So we're done with the downstairs unit. We took the reef off uh, because it's no longer Christmas. And this is the downstairs unit. So we'll go in and turn on all of the, the lights in here. So as soon as you enter, you entered upon the dining room area right here. Um, I got the table from Goodwill for $35. The chairs I already had. The vase um, I bought from Home Goods, and then the accoutrement on top I um, already had. I wanted to add this old clip in here so that we can really appreciate the kitchen. You can see that there were hallways, extra walls, and the kitchen was so dark and cramped. So I want you to really appreciate this reveal. Then you go and move into the um, kitchen area right here. Um, so the cabinets came out of the main house. Um, I didn't install it, they were just all in there um, and they were all like brand new in boxes. So we decided to use them here because I wanted to go with a different color scheme for the main house. If you've seen that tour, you know, whatnot. We added a gooseneck right there, right above the sink so you have a little bit more lighting. Um, I ended up getting this off of the floor uh, from like Lowe's, it was like, I think it was two to four hundred dollars, but it was like one of those things scratch and dent section buy it immediately right now And that's what I did Then you scroll on to this side These are the upper cabinets to these cabinets and I just mounted them to the wall You see they're rotating they're above the wall and then we put the microwave and the uh, What is that coffee maker? And some pretty flowers you go into the living room area these two chairs I got from Facebook marketplace and then just recovered them with the gray fabric so that they would go with the carpet um, that is a pull-out couch that I end up purchasing from um, is a like a liquidation place here that like has all hotel stuff and you can buy all that stuff like for discount. I also bought this from the liquidation place as well. The TV I already had. These are the upper cabinets, the same as these. I just painted these blue. Um, the paintings I bought from Ross, they were 50% off. So I bought both of them. And then the light is from Ikea. And uh, I don't remember, it's been so long, I don't, I don't remember the uh, split unit is the HVAC, so it provides heating and cooling. Mind you, this unit never had heating and cooling, so now we have that split unit. Um, the curtain rods I bought years ago, uh, the curtains I bought from what is that place? Uh, Home Goods, and then that little bracket right there came from uh, IKEA. So then, um, mind you, you also have to make sure you have extra plates and bowls and stuff of that nature at the top there and then we enter into the bathroom the bathroom is another one of a win i think so you have your shower curtain this is uh, set up for um airbnb already 
And then the mirror I ended up buying from, where did I buy that from? From the look, look, liquidation place. And then the floor is the same floor from California. If you don't recall or recognize it, then you got your stuff for your bathroom. And then you go into the bedroom. So right now it's set up for, you know, a guest to show up. Um, the bed is something I bought from the liquidation place and get into the room here. I bought that from the liquidation place and, uh, the bedding, most of it is mine except for the green pillows and we got it set up for hosting already. Uh, the two side tables are from the liquidation place. That was $10. The headboard is $10. And then the hanging plants I had from the upstairs unit relocated downstairs. If you hear people upstairs, it's because they're prepping the unit upstairs for um, um, wash and dryer. Again, another photo that I purchased, I paid full price for this one, and I bought that at Home Goods. I had a uh, pillow that I painted. It's called mud pillow or whatever, like a mud, like that design. And I cut the pillow up, put it in frames, and that became artwork. We have a barn door. This came out of the main house, uh, so it is a historical house that was located within here and reused. You have a hanging TV, it has a Hulu fire stick, and then you know you have your rack so that you can put all of your clothes. And then over here on this corner, you have a beautiful Mara plant. I already had the plant, uh, the plant pot, as well as the a mirror the plant is obviously fake <laughs> so that it would be less maintenance and then this is the look from the room from the other end so kind of take a look the lamps um, on either side of the bed were from Ikea as well I like them because you know that you could be, you can mount them and with these little clips and then just turn on and off the light so we're just gonna turn the light off and give that look and feel and then another look around. I got the lights on outside because I'm working outside as well. So I'm doing like 50 things all at once. And the kitchen. Um, the backsplash I did myself. And then for extra plates and stuff, we have them down here. So you need extra plates, spoon, I mean bowls and stuff like that. Oh, and then the spoons are the gold. So I got gold hardware, bought it from Amazon. And then these I bought years ago. I don't even remember where I bought it from. Have no clue, but that's what I bought. And then this is like your extra stuff, you know, but the can opener disappeared. I just realized that it went to the can opener. Okay, the clips and can opener. Okay, all right, so. Thank you for coming to my humble abode, the lovely Airbnb, the floors I bought from Lowe's. These, these are tile, cement tile, and yeah. So we're about to get up out of here. Thank you for watching.